Alrighty, we're back. <laughs> it's Thursday evening, June 14th, 2018. It's after 9 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. So, well, hello. <laughs> so, over in the west, we have Venus. to do something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll put digital zoom on. All right, so let's change a few things here. Okay, and our wandering star here. It's not quite as egg-shaped as it was the other night. About three quarter phase. Hmm. So that might be the best we can get it in. All right. Now we can turn over to Venus, or I'm sorry, <laughs> over to Jupiter. Okay, first I'm going to make another change before going back to this. So this way we can get the full view. All right, that's pretty close to what I'm seeing. But now we gotta go change it again. <laughs> I'll be right back. Right, here's hoping it's coming out all right, but we have uh, three moons leading the way, and then Jupiter and Callisto bringing up the rear. Now, just in case it's uh, not coming out very well. I know it's grainy, but you can see the moon so much better that way. Boy, I can't get Jupiter in for a while tonight. All right. Well, I can see the bands here, so I hope they come out all right. Anyway, we're going to look for some stars, but I don't see any by eye. <laughs> the stars of Libra should be at the 7 o'clock position from Jupiter. It's a binary system of a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> anyway, while we're waiting for something else to pop up, I'll let y'all know what uh, I've been doing using here. <laughs> It's a new toy. Uh, it's not a toy, but you know how I'm always complaining about I can't see crap on a tiny monitor and even with a magnifying glass. You know, I'm an old lady, shit. I'm having a hard time. And so I have an external monitor, which I can't use on the Nikon. I wish I could, but the HDMI on the Nikon doesn't allow you to see li see live video, so. But even on the Canon 80D, there's issues with the Atomos. Um, it's not a supported camera, so it doesn't have clean HDMI out, but it can pick up uh, this, because I'm recording on the Ninja Flame, but it doesn't have clean. HDMI out. You can see the stuff that's on the back of the camera like this and that. But you can also shut it off, which is cool. But the other problem with the ADD, it doesn't have uh, audio out through the HDMI. So I had to rig something up. I went to a, uh, I did a lot of searching, but I found a video on Vimeo yesterday. Somebody had an old uh, Canon Mark III. That was before their firmware 
update and it is a supported camera now but at the time when if they made it uh, they had the same issues I did you couldn't get any audio so he said if you just put uh, a 3.5 mil jack into the ninja flame here into the mic part and into the Canon ADD into the headphone jack not the mic then you can get audio and you can adjust the levels here in the camera and on the recorder here so I'm still having issues I've been working on that all day trying to get uh, the right quality and without hissing and actually people complain about hissing but for me it was whining noises oh it was horrible <laughs> that and with the Canon I don't have uh, the ability fucking cars I don't have the uh, a way to put foam over the mic to block wind so wind is a real big issue besides loud cars uh, oh, yoy. So wind is a real issue with this, and there's just no way I can rig something up like I did with the Nikon. But anyway, what I like about using the ADD and the Tamron 18 to 400 mil lens is um, I can change the ISO and shutter and aperture during recording, which you can't do on the Nikon. Ah, and there they are, the stars of Libra, about the 7 o'clock position from Jupiter, if you can see them there, I shall try to get it in better, alright, here they are. They might come in a little bit better here. Just a few specks of light there. So that's cool. We got them. I can barely see. I can't see them by eye, just so you know. And I can barely see Spica. That's as far as we can go in. Yeah, Jason looks cool that way, don't it? That way, too. And so there's Spica. <laughs> Jupiter's now going through the trees there. And the same issue with Venus over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that what I'm seeing on the screen is uh, a little bit light. Oh, I thought I saw a star, but that's me spitting on the monitor. Um, <laughs> oh, my. Never mind. The crescent moon is probably set by now, but it was ahead of it as uh, Venus is setting over there. I hate it when it gets so grainy, but there's those guys. Our tourist is finally showing. You have to forgive me, I'm back here in Mosquito Haven, so. And there's Arcturus right there. And it's Buddy over to the right of it. Yeah, yeah. Grainy stuff. <laughs> I could go in more, but I'm not going to. Whoa, talk about grainy. And a different perspective since I moved from the back of the yard from Mos Mosquito Haven to 
near the shed, which is probably just as bad. <laughs> oh my. And from there, we can see our tourists. And I probably didn't upload the video as I rambled on about it, but uh, but yesterday or the day before, WSO had put up another video about Jupiter and um, some things exploding around it, and they kept showing these uh, these light sources down here, which are now at the seven o'clock position. Sky Safari Pro has been showing me their stars of Libra. It's a binary system. I can't pronounce the damn name, but. So, once again, I disagree about that part of it, about the stars, that they're not some incoming system, that they're more distant, and it's Jupiter each night that inches further along, I'd say because it's uh, closer to us. There's a good shot of them now. That's cool. Yeah, those noises. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not liking some sounds I'm hearing, so be careful when I come in. That's for sure. All right. Good night, everybody. Be safe.